Well, as I mentioned there, there have been efforts to address a lack of diversity in Silicon Valley with the blind hiring process. But how much success have companies like Facebook and Google actually had? Mark New reports. In the tech industry, many workers say finding a job is much easier if you fit the profile. And I think women have to prove themselves more than men, an archetype for what is successful here. Like if you're a Stanford grad and you're a white male. We do see like less number of people that are as diverse. Kadar Ear believes he has part of the solution. He starts by putting me through a simple reality TV style Guess Who's Singing Challenge. Bigger, full figured person. Great, let's see who these people are. Come on. <laughs> that, yeah. In our subconscious, we keep making patterns about what people are capable of based on how they look. We're a technology that allows employers to host blind performance auditions so that the best applicants walk in the door of the employer uh, in a way that levels the playing field. Users of the Gap Jumpers website can apply for job listings in technology, design, and marketing by taking a customized test. Gap Jumpers algorithm ranks the best performers and forwards the results to the hiring manager. Gap Jumpers also gets feedback from hiring managers and uses artificial intelligence to improve their scoring. That produces plenty of data, which is being studied right here at Stanford University. Sociology PhD student Sharon Jenk found that of the Gap Jumpers job applicants selected for interviews, 58% were women. And so far, the blind auditions have resulted in twice the number of women being hired compared to men. There's no resume, there's no voice, there's no um, LinkedIn profile information, there's absolutely nothing that could identify who or any characteristics about who is doing that work submission. And it isn't until after the hiring manager makes the decision um, about if this person can make it through the screen or not that they get the, any information about the applicant. Jank admits when a hiring manager meets the final candidates, implicit bias returns to the process. But Ear believes the gap jumpers test changes that dynamic. There is empathy from the employer now towards this person that they're talking to across the table than one of skepticism or that one of doubt because this person's proven themselves. The pay discrepancy between men and women is a separate matter, but one that Gap Jumpers also plans to try and solve through technology in the near future. Mark New, CCTV, San Francisco.